title of Red Glasses today is The Anatomy of an Illness. Subtitle, Laughter. Think about that for a second. Norman Cousins uh, was an American political journalist, author, and professor. Uh, Cousins, listen to this, did research on the biochemistry of human emotions, which he long believed were the key to human being success in fighting illness. It was a belief he maintained even as he battled in 1964 a sudden onset case of a crippling connective tissue disease, which was also referred to as collagen disease. He was told that he had a 1 in 500 chance to recover. So, Cousins developed his own recovery program. He took massive intravenous doses of vitamin C and had a self-induced bouts of laughter brought on by films of the television show Candid Camera and by various comic films. He said this, he said, I made the joyous discovery that 10 minutes of genuine belly laughter had an ascetic uh, effect and could give me at least two hours of pain-free sleep, he reported. And his struggle with this illness, by the way, is detailed in a 1979 book, Anatomy of an Illness, as perceived by the patient. So we're going to talk about laughter for a moment today. Let me give you some uh, great little quotes I've picked up. One person said, I am thankful for laughter, except when milk comes out my nose. I love that one. Laughter is the shortest distance between two people. Someone else said, a person who knows how to laugh at himself or herself will never cease to be amused. A day without laughter, one person said, is a day wasted. If you're too busy to laugh, you're too busy. I don't trust anyone who doesn't laugh. Another person said, I'd rather laugh with sinners than cry with the saints. Another person said, laughter is carbonated holiness. It is cheerful to God when you rejoice or laugh from the bottom of your heart. A laugh is a smile that bursts. Laughter is an instant vacation. I love that one too. And then finally, you can't deny laughter. When it comes, it plops down in your favorite chair and stays as long as it wants to. So, I think we need to know just briefly here today that Jesus had a sense of humor. He picked 12 disciples. Do you know anything about those 12 disciples? I mean, they were quite a group. He picked 12 disciples to change the planet. And he did, I believe with that, have a sense of humor. If Jesus Christ is in your life, he picked you. There's another example of Jesus' <laughs> sense of humor. You know, did you know baseball is in the Bible where the Bible it says in the beginning? Did you know that cigarettes are mentioned in the Bible? That's right. It says Rebecca lit off on her camel. Did you know that uh, tennis is mentioned in the Bible? That Joseph served in Pharaoh's court? Well, someone said this, and I think this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Laughter is like the secret spices in a Cajun gumbo that unites and brings out all the other flavors. So here's a thought for you. If you have Jesus in your life, if you know your forgiven past, present, and future, if you know he will never let you go, if you know you can, you can have purpose and meaning in this life now on this planet, if you know you are going to live with him forever, then here's what I want you to do. Go outside, take off your shoes, roll around in the grass, Laugh as loud as you can and have a blast because in Christ you are free to laugh. You think about that.